Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am doing a huge try on haul. It is an Abercrombie & Fitch fall haul. A bunch of jeans, a bunch of tops, and overall, really, really happy with my purchase. And also, this is not sponsored. Um, Abercrombie & Fitch, if you'd like to sponsor me, I would love that. But yeah, today's video is not sponsored. All honest opinions and all money out of my bank account. But it's all good because these are all going to make some really, really cute outfits. So stay tuned for reels and um, other videos for outfit inspo if you are in need of any of that for fall. But let's go ahead and get right into the haul. I have been on the lookout for some jeans that fit. Abercrombie and Fitch, I've known they have amazing jeans. I have not had the best luck. I bought like three pairs in the past and I did not like them. So I'm really happy because I found some jeans I love. The first pair are these. They are the straight mid-rise. And I love this wash. I think this is just like a perfect medium light wash that just goes with a lot of basics. I'm definitely going to be wearing this with a lot of just like long sleeves, knits, just super easy go-to jeans and they fit really well. And all of these have pretty similar washes but just kind of like different um, waistline and like hems and like rips and distress marks. So I'm not a huge fan of like super dark denim, although I am in search of a black pair. But anyways, this will be just like medium wash jeans. But what's nice is they come in different washes if you like the style on me. And yeah. The second pair of jeans I got are the straight mid-rise. This is the kind of same jean except the bottom is uh, more of that like distressed hem and the fit is a little bit looser from going for more of like a slightly looser look and the pant leg did seem a little bit longer in these even though this is also oh no it's a sh oh, it's a regular so that's why so this is a 24 double zero regular and the other one was a short, so that makes sense why this was a little bit longer of a pant leg. But I like it because it wasn't baggy. Sometimes the regular fits are too baggy on me. So this was the perfect in between a short and a regular for if I wanted to wear like boots or my Ugg slippers that have a little bit more platform. That way it'll, you know, not be too short. And I like that look too. This one is unique because of like the button part is kind of that crisscross look. This is the 90 straight ultra high rise. So I usually don't like the high rise because it's that cross crisscross thing. It makes it so the top part right here isn't straight. That's what I really hate about the ultra high rise personally for just like my body type since I am shorter. Um, that kind of crisscross allows that part to be lower because otherwise it's all the digging up in my like upper ab like belly button lower boob area but I really like how it also creates kind of like a cinching at that part of the waist as well and this is a slightly lighter wash than all of the other jeans next pair of jeans are the 90s relaxed jean high rise so these were almost a no for me because of like i said the high rise but it was just like a slightly more distressed look i really liked the slits like the location of the slits a lot and the overall fit is a little bit looser which i don't really have jeans that are like that these ones are a little bit more fitted but i do like the look of kind of like not quite cargo um jeans so this was a good in-between, so I decided to keep it. This is a uh, short length, so just for reference as well. And this is also a slightly darker wash, which I really like because all the other ones were medium. And then I have these last two pieces that I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna keep or not, so let me know what you guys think. 
So the first piece is a skirt and I've been seeing this skirt all over. People are styling it super cute with like knee high boots and an oversized knit or like a little vest. And it's giving me like 90s friends vintage kind of look. And I just don't know if it's because it doesn't fit me right or if it's just like maybe a size too big. They didn't have my size. Um, so I went with a 24, which I think a 23 would have been perfect. Should I just keep it? Let me know what you guys think. I see so much potential with like a really cute knee high boot, like I said, but I don't know because it is kind of boxy on me. I wish it fit like perfectly and I could also get it altered. So, and then these I will be returning. They're just too big. Um, the length, for some reason, like, I think this is actually, let's see here. They have like the 90s straight ultra high rise and then they have the curve love. So I think that I, I bought the wrong version of this, but I do love the wash. I like the color, the stone color. I saw it working really well with like brown and white and just like kind of tan knits and tops. Um, so I might exchange it for the correct fit, but it was just it was just too loose on me, but I do like the color a lot. So that is it for all of the jeans and we're gonna go ahead and just move on to tops. I got a lot of basic knits and long sleeves just pieces that you can throw on with pretty much any bottom. So I'm really, really happy about it because a lot of the tops that I have in my closet right now are cropped or very like tight, which isn't really practical for everyday casual fall winter weather. Um, so I went on a limb and just bought a ton and I didn't expect to like pretty much all of them, but I do. So I'm really excited to be sharing them. The first piece is this white knit, which is so soft. And I love this just cream color. It's just one of my favorite colors for a knit and like outerwear, like a coat. So I got this one in extra small. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces that I got in this whole haul. And then I got the same exact knit and I wasn't sure about the sizing. I wanted something slightly oversized. I wasn't sure if this was going to be too small. So I also got a size small. And it is quite a bit bigger just for being a size up, but not like too big. It's definitely more oversized, but that's what I was going for. I love this color. It's so fall. I feel like this is very winter, which I'm still going to wear in fall. But this is like, this is really fall. So I am so happy about this purchase and I'm going to keep both. And then I got this knit in this beautiful kind of beige color. And this is so soft. This is definitely like the softest knit that I own. It is so comfy and I was a little worried it'd be too cropped, but with the mid-rise jean, it hits absolutely perfectly right to the point where it doesn't bunch up over the jeans, but also enough where if I'm like moving my arms around, it doesn't lift up, which is perfect. It's exactly what I'm going for. I want something a little bit more modest, and I think it really hit the mark for that. And I love that wrap look because it definitely has like a really nice neckline but there isn't a bunch of just fabric when you have to tie wrap tops. I have a hard time sometimes with that, but this is just perfectly done with that look in the front and it's just smooth in the back. It feels like cashmere, honestly. It's probably like a really soft wool. So this is a keeper for sure. I kind of want to look and see if they have more colors. I think the last time I checked, they might've sold out of this color. Um, hopefully it's restocked, but they also have cream and black so i might end up getting those two as well <laughs> i also will probably end up getting more of this top this one here is a 
ribbed knit and I am so happy because this is a thicker knit than I thought it would be. Um, and I love this neckline so much. It's a pretty like heavy knitted material and I see it being a great um, layering piece underneath like a coat when it's cold out and when you take it off you can still be pretty warm. And I love this color. Another top with a similar neckline, but definitely a lot thinner, is this one here. It's also slightly longer and just a great basic top. And then I got this bodysuit, which I don't really have any tops like this where it's kind of like a see-through knit and you wear a um, like bralette or some sort of like under uh, garment. So I have this like really pretty black lacy bra that I wore underneath this and I love how it's just very slightly see-through. It's not anything major. So it still has like a nice warmth to it. So I imagine going out to a nice like Italian restaurant um, at night and it's candle lit and I'm wearing this and you can slightly see through it just enough to see like the lace of the bra but nothing crazy where it's like skin and still feeling like warm enough and then just having a coat to put over when I'm walking out of the restaurant. And then I got these three basic tops. They're the baby tee long sleeves and I just see these being as something you just throw on with a pair of jeans or leggings or just underneath anything as a layering piece for added warmth. And it's a nice, super, super soft material. I've had tops like this at Brandy Melville or from Amazon and they're just like starchy. This is so stretchy, it reminds me of like the Skims material honestly. So I was really, really happy with this considering I bought everything all online, didn't really feel anything and I'm huge into softness, especially with knits and long sleeves and also having it be a little bit more stretchy so it can kind of form my body versus being stiff and I am really happy with these. So I got, I think it's, I think there's two more colors I could have gotten, um, black and white, but I ended up going for the darker gray, lighter gray, and this brown. And then I got this top, which I've seen on Instagram before with a pair of jeans and thought it was so cute, also with a black skirt and boots. And I just think it's such a beautiful neckline. It's so unique. Um, and how it kind of frames the shoulders. Like a, a halter top has a great, you know, way of making your shoulders and arms look. And this reminds me of that, except with the higher um, neckline, obviously. So I thought that it looked very like mature-ish and the side has ruching, which is very figure flattering. I also got this dress, which I think is so beautiful. I have a similar color dress I got last year that I wore for a Christmas party. And this just reminds me of that so much, except this is a long um, length. The other one is a shorter length, which I like a lot because you still have a slit. So you can wear your like knee high boots or whatever and it still shows off the side there. And it's once again, really, really soft. So yeah. And then lastly, I got this jacket, which was a purchase I made because it granted me the promo code. Um, so if I bought part of their, I think it's like YPB collection, then it would give me 20% off the rest of my purchase. So this is the one thing that caught my eye and I just like the color a lot. Um, and it's just like a comfy thing to put over. If I want to wear like leggings and a casual shirt, just have this on top. I imagine wearing this when I'm like road trips, getting out of the car, throwing it on or taking Jasper out. Kind of that like teddy bear fleece look. And the hood is detachable. All right, guys, that is it for today's haul. I hope that you liked it. Let me know in the comments which pieces or piece was your favorite. If you want to check out the links below, they're all there for you to just click away if anything caught your eye. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.